আমি স্বপ্ন দেখি স্বপ্ন আমি স্বপ্ন দেখি স্বপ্ন স্বপ্নে বাঁধি আমি স্বপ্ন দেখি স্বপ্ন স্বপ্নে বাঁধি ঘর একুশ থেকে ষোলো দেবে জয় স্বপ্নে করে ভর আমার স্বপ্ন হবে সত্য তাই স্বপ্নে বাজি সুর তোমার আমার স্বপ্ন যখন দেখি সুরে 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 we are standing in front of two biogas digesters put up in a dairy farm it's a 190 head dairy out of which around 50 are small uh, these uh, young heads and balance are all grown up cattle and from the dung of the cattle we are producing biogas the each of the digesters have a capacity of about 90 cubic meter of biogas production per day uh, <coughs> or 70, 70 cubic meters I'm sorry so 140 cubic meter per day which is now used in this farm both for electricity generation and also as a fuel for cooking let's have a look at the most interesting part which is the electricity generation because cooking had been known earlier in this country but electricity generation is a technology which we have introduced through the first pilot set up in Faridpur with a commercial poultry farm and then we have expand we are expanding now at a very fast speed of replication to we, we have targets to reach this technology to at least say 10,000 dairy and another 10,000 poultry farms which will lower the it solves environmental problem you can see at the back of the digesters we are, yes i am standing in front of the digester intake the digesters intake take up the cow dung it is done manually but it can also be done continuously through a drainage directly from the in fact that is uh, we have that in planning when the all the cows are brought in here, they are dairy cows, then mixed with a one is to one ratio of dung to water and, and thereby goes into the digester mixed with water and produces biogas which is 60% methane and 40% carbon dioxide. So as you know methane is the combustible component with the, the gas has an overall heat value of about 600 British thermal units per CFT and if you have a closer look at the manometers that the pressure meter set on the head of the uh, digesters we'll find average pressures we're having about say between 1500 to 1800 millimeters of water column <coughs> so the methane gas produced is used for power generation both for fuel and power and at the same time the byproduct is produced, which is also very environment friendly and is a very essential and valued input for agriculture, which is the liquid slurry, biogas, we call it biogas slurry. And almost 30% of the intake is converted into the slurry, uh, which, can be, which can be applied as such to the agricultural fields as fertilizer, or they can be dried or turned into pellets to have a very balanced nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium mix which will enhance the soil's uh, organic content and uh, experimental uh, pilot projects have been tried with very expert agriculturists who have opined that these gaps around 1.5 to 1.8 times the normal yield of the uh, crops. So is the slurry uh, being pumped out or how does it It stay starts out? automatically under the gas pressure. Gas pressure. It is ejected through the back, back side. Okay. Only we have overflowing arrangements here. You have a look at this. The overflowing arrangement, it comes to an overflowing pit and there it solidifies, basically. It so solidifies it, here. More or less, the, it requires a very minimum attendance. So Only this two people can attend this plant. How about the smell? The I I, I don't feel any see, smell, the smell, right? Is gone, right, the smell so is pretty this much is gone. Environmentally very green, sound, mm -hmm. 
In fact, every dairy in every poultry market has lots of smell, but I don't see. We are lobbying with the government. We are talking to the government to bring in all the uh, all the poultry and dairy farms under the under this regulation. That for biosecurity reasons, they must have a biogas plant. Right. And the power and fuel will be getting as extra boons and fertilizer. Three, one input, three outputs. Right. So that's a, that's a very win-win situation which we are getting with biogas. The biogas is coming up, coming in here. As you see, at the entry point, yeah, entry point to the filter unit, biogas cleaning unit, which is mounted on a small skid for convenience of movement and correction, disconnection to the engine, etc. Mm -hmm. So just it has an inlet, biogas inlet, and biogas outlets. Inlet comes where pressure monitoring is done here. As you see, you can you can take on drive. So the pressure, I have opened now the valve. So it is now 115 to 10, that is 1500 millimeter water column. The maximum scale is here given as 300 uh, uh, 3,000 millimeter water column, now it is just half of it, 1,500 millimeter water column. It has almost no pressure drop between the digester head up mm -hmm. to the engine intake. And now, say... by bell drive, connected by bell drive with the engine. Yeah. It is a, it will be uh, astonishing to 20 know. kilowatt, 20 kilowatt. Yeah, this is 20 kilowatt, 20 yeah. Kilowatt. So we have converted here a gasoline, uh, previously a gasoline uh, powered auto engine, auto which engine. was pro biogas contains some water, mm -hmm. yeah, which is separated in a, say, a very raw water separator. Water raw water it, it impacts on the wall of the vessel. The raw water, small amounts of droplets, etc., et get separated. After, say, a few days, we can drain it out. Yeah? Then it comes into an iron oxide, iron uh, oxide, hydrogen sulfide removal. This is simple raw iron, uh, uh, iron uh, filings, shavings. shavings from the lathe machines filings and other and things from the local workshop, which is very cheap. <laughs> right. Hydrogen sulfide combines with this iron. Yeah, which which has some oxide on the coated surface. That's what the Chinese are doing also. Ferrous sulfide, FeSO4. Exactly, it becomes iron sulfide. And after getting absorbed, it comes through a silica gel tower, silica which gel removes tower. the rest of the moisture. Yes. And then the outlet gas, which is cleaned off the sulfur, hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide is contained to the extent of about point. Maximum, see, in the cow dung is much less, it's 0.3%. Or 0.2 to 0.3% in, in the poultry, uh, poultry based biogas. So that's a gas regulator? Yeah. Then there's a gas regulator which regulates a continuous flow, flow under a steady pressure. Mm -hmm. It goes into the engine. Air fuel ratio so it, it is controlled at the mixture. Think, uh, yeah. So it's basically very simple. Right. This all technology we have, we can do it locally. And anywhere in the world, it can be done very easily. Yeah. Only all you need is to is to adjust the fuel and air ratio because as you know, natural gas has a much higher methane content right. to the extent of 90-94% and biogas has a methane content of about 60%. So that was the difference. And uh, in our pilot charts we standardized all these things because one of our targets was that in many parts of the world it was being tried and nobody was professionally standardizing these things. Now I have done this because because we have to operate commercially, you know. People have to earn profit, save money, save electricity and energy through this. this. I, I think this is a wonderful concept which can be replicated around the world without any problem. Without right. any problem. And now this electricity, this gas, will not be sending us any bills. <laughs> whereas it is running just like natural gas. That's a real wonderful thing. And yeah. it's also giving milk. <laughs>
they are reshaped. The lights, and now there will also be fans in future. That particular dairy shade has about koto atro ka pata sa na, 18 shades and koto light koto 20. Light ka pata pa kung pasyon mo talaga. 50 lights and the yard light is another 20. So all together about 100 lights. These all energy lamps as you see, because we can optimize on the consumption of gas here also. Let it be free gas, but still if we can conserve this gas also, biogas also. Uh, further gas and will be remaining uh, unused, which we can use for fuel. Overall, this is a really win-win situation where you improve the environment, cut down the greenhouse gas totally because it's a green technology and it's a renewable fuel. Biogas is called in every, everywhere in the world. It is called renewable natural gas. Mm -hmm. In the backyard, say you see the digesters. We can proudly say we have now our own small micro gas field. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not Titas, <laughs> not Bakrabad, or other gas fields of Bangladesh, which are running out. Okay, this gas, gas will never go out as long as our. Social person, <laughs> 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 Bangladesh, <laughs> Bangladesh. 